What's happening, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to All Chiefs Up. On the heels of Juan Thornhill signing with the Cleveland Browns, Brett Veach has signed safety Mike Edwards, who was drafted just one round later than Juan Thornhill in the 2019 draft. Yes, Mike Edwards, 2019 draft come out of University of Kentucky, Steve. We're Kentucky guys. We watched this guy in college. Um, He's pretty decent. He's not hit his full stride yet, but it's something that we can monitor here with the Chiefs. I'm sure our coaches can get him going. In 2022, he actually had a career year with the Buccaneers, Steve. He played 17 games, started 12 of those. It's not much of a drop-off from Juan Thornhill. He's not as good as Juan, but it's very close. Yes, it's a good complimentary piece to Brian Cook and Justin Reed there in the back end. I'm curious to see if we'll go ahead and sign Bush back to another year to round out that fourth safety, or we may just draft somebody. Also, earlier today, Brett Veach signed Drew Tranquil, linebacker from the Los Angeles Chargers. He was also drafted in 2019. He went in the fourth round of the Chargers. Overall, PFF had him at a 66.2 grade last year in 2022. He's really great in coverage, and he's a great pass rusher. So that's two things that I think the Chiefs were focused on there. He had 100 solo tackles last season, which was 13th in the entire NFL. He had 33 assists and one interception. This guy plays with intensity, man, and he passed up some other deals to take a team-friendly deal with the Chiefs because I think this guy wants to win. Yeah, he signed a one-year $3 million deal, according to Nate Taylor. Um, He says it could get up to $5 million if you count all the incentives. But I agree, Tranquil was a good signing. I believe that Mike Edwards was a good signing. Tranquil is a good guy to have because he can play all three linebacker positions. He's great in coverage. He had five sacks last year. So as you mentioned, he can get after the quarterback. Um, A lot of people are thinking that this means we may say goodbye to Nick Bolton. I don't believe that at all. We're not getting rid of Nick Bolton. It's not happening. He's not losing snaps. Yeah, there, you're not losing snaps here. It's possible in the future you have to deal with Willie Gay or somebody like that or trade somebody out because we got a lot of people coming up for contract extensions in the next year or two. But other than that, I don't think this is a big deal. We seen yesterday that they are not going to tender Darius Harris at linebacker. So again, this is just another depth piece. It's a great signing by Beach. What do you think about Spags using him as like a pseudo safety? Because I know they only run three linebackers a lot and you already got that locked up with Nick Bolton, Willie Gay, and Leo Chanel but he can play a little bit better coverage than Leo. Right. People are saying that Leo Chanel could actually be brought down to the edge and used as an edge rusher now. That's very possible. You could also, you're shaking your head. I don't know if they'll actually do it, but Spags does like to do crazy things with his defense. But with you, yes, Mike Edwards and Drew Tranquil could both play that slot corner, nickel corner kind of position. I do believe that's possible. Steve, we just learned today that Connor Christofferson from Arrowhead Report says that the Aminahu signing hits $5.8 million against the cap, and overthecap.com now projects the Chiefs to have $4.5 million. I don't know if that's before these new guys we signed or after these new guys we signed, but what do you think about that? What is Beach going to have to do now to stay relevant and to get these rookies signed and to get more people in to fill some of these roster spots. Yeah, it's no secret. I thought that Brett Veach was all in on trying to get OBJ, and I think he still has interest there, but he's only got one more trick left in the bag, and that's to restructure Chris Jones to free up some cash. That way he can make one more move if he wants to. There's still lots of other holes to plug up on this roster, so I think that's the next thing we're going to see. Yeah, they can't go back to the Mahomes well. You can only do that once per year. They've already done it, so no more converting money from Patrick Mahomes' contract. We didn't think a Minahu would be $5.8 million. I thought it was going to be closer to around a 3 to $4 million mark. But yeah, it's showing $5.8 million. Again, I don't know if Connor Christopherson is 100% on this or not. I'm just giving you what he says. He does work for Arrowhead Report. I'll kind of trust him on that. But yeah, they've already announced they're not getting it from MVS either. He is safe on the roster in 2023. They're not going to release him. They're not going to save cap money that way. So it does look like Chris Jones' extension is coming, possibly another player extension, but I don't know who they'd go to to do that with. Yeah, so nothing groundbreaking here, but Brett Veach definitely filled in some holes on the roster that we needed to fill up. And I think it's good quality players that want to come to Kansas City and win. So I'm completely happy with these signings. Yeah, I'm totally happy with both of these signings today. I think they fill some holes on our roster. I think they're solid backups. I think they're solid contributors in general. I think Veach had a good day. So a lot of hosts still left on the roster, wide receiver being one of them. KC Sports Network did a video earlier about which wide receiver we need to sign right now. Make sure to check that out. Get in our comments, and thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell.